Welcome to Contact. We're continuing our series titled Forge Ahead, and today's message is Defeating the Curse. Now, every person wants to know why things go wrong in their lives. Well, it's because of the curse. You know, as Christians, we have been given victory over the curse, but how do we make this truth a reality in yeah. our daily lives? Yeah, well, that, that is, is the nature of, of, of our faith walk. Uh, we do it by faith. So the promise is Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. We then take mm -hmm. the promise, believe it, act on it, and literally our faith is what drives the curse out. Right, and it's really important to recognize, like we said, why do things go wrong? Yeah. You know, just being aware that there is a curse yeah. is step number one. So today we're going to be talking about that, how you can be aware of things that are happening in your life and how to overcome. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Camp Meeting 2018 Stormproof is just around the corner. Get equipped and armored with speakers from across the nation starting October 7th through the 12th at 10.30 a.m. and 7.30 p.m. For more information or to find nearby hotels, visit our website at faithlandmarks.org or call our hotline at 804-515-5860. Hey kids, are you ready to rock out with Kids Town? Join us for an awesome, fun-filled time in fellowship and the Word at Kids Rock Camp Meeting 2018 at Faith Landmarks Ministries. It all begins on Sunday, October 7th with our annual Kids Town County Fair. Children will also have fun every day of the week with Ezekiel, Kyra, and the Donut Man. It all starts October 7th, Sunday through Monday at Faith Landmarks Ministries. Camp Meeting 2018 Stormproof will be a powerful and anointed event. You can relive the messages, equip yourself in the Word, and experience the conference again and again with our special Camp Meeting 2018 product package. Available in CD, DVD, or USB flash drive, you can watch or listen to your favorite messages whenever you want. Order today and choose from a variety of Camp Meeting 2018 products. Our CD package is available for $35, DVD package $50. Our CD DVD combo package is available for only $75. Stormproof flash drives with all video and audio recordings are available for $50. And don't forget, you can purchase our special Stormproof t-shirt for only $10 while supplies last. Don't miss out on this great value. To order, call 1-866-FAITH-42 or visit our website at faithlandmarks.org. Okay, so Mark chapter 10, verse 23, it says, Then Jesus looked about and said to his disciples, How hardly shall they that have riches enter into the kingdom of God? Now, I won't read the entire story to you, but if you press back a few verses, what you would see is that there was this young man that came to Jesus, and his question was, What, may I, what must I do to inherit everlasting or eternal life? Now, that's another way of saying he knew he didn't have it, right? He wouldn't have been asking about it if he knew he had it, right? Okay, so he was living under the old covenant, but he knew what Jesus was all about. This is why he came to Jesus asking this question. Now, you go on to find out that this guy was rich, but he had this big hole in his life where even though he had money, he was missing the better part of what life really is about. Okay. So Jesus said back to him, uh, well, you, you, you know the commandments. I mean, if you want eternal life under the old covenant, act on those commandments. And he said, Master, I've done all these things since I was young. And then verse 21, Jesus said, one thing you lack See, there, there had to be something that was blocking him having a spiritual relationship with God, even though he had the world's riches. Something was in the way. 
So Jesus said, one thing you lack, go and sell whatever you have, give to the poor and you shall have treasure in heaven. Come take up your cross and follow me. Whoo, what a statement. My goodness, that's a shocker today. Are you out there? And uh, then uh, the young man uh, turned away sorrowful, it says in verse 22, went away grieved because he had great possessions. Now, like we're saying, this is just the beginning of this story. And the, the, the better part is, is coming. Okay, but it is a shocker just, just to go ahead and stop for a minute and realize what God is saying to this young man is you're going to have to walk away from who you are. You know, like in today's world, we think like the money is the big deal. Okay, but for him, it was his family, it, it was his name. Okay, because it was all about inheritance. And you remember, it was just last week we were talking about Peter. How Peter had done that. Now we're, we're going to see this again with Peter. Praise the Lord. So it may sound really almost catastrophic, you know, in our world today for God to say, okay, we'll just go give all your money to the poor and then, and then come and, and we'll have a conversation. And, and th in our world today, that's a real shocker, even more than then. Are you there? You know why? Because money is much more prominent in people's lives now than it, than it was then. Money owns the world. In fact, everything in the world system is determined on a dollar value. You have a dollar value. That's right. Your house, everything that you own, not only is it what you possess, it's what you produce. So there's a number on you. Aren't you excited about that? Praise the Lord. Well, God loves you. So well, the young ruler, rich young ruler, didn't understand that what Jesus was talking to him about was being blessed. I want to read it to you in verse 23. How hardly shall they that have riches enter into the kingdom of God? His disciples were astonished at his words, just like you. Praise the Lord. And Jesus answered again and said unto them, Children, they're all grown men, how hard it is for them that trust in riches to enter into the kingdom of God. Verse 25, It is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. Now, so I'm going to tell you a little, what does that mean, eye of a needle? Uh, yeah, you know what eye of a needle is, but... Uh, get a camel, uh, that's, that's ridiculous. But just listen for a minute. So in the walls that surround Jerusalem, there are gates. For security purposes, every night they close the gates. You know, in, in those days. Okay? And guards the whole thing. And, uh, but yet, in the gate, there is a smaller gate that's easily secured by one guard. Because go, going through that eye, of, it's called the eye of a needle. Going through that eye, it's easy to defend that one thing. So uh, to go through the eye of a needle, a person had to turn sideways to get through. So it's like if they had anything on their back, it wasn't coming through with them. Security purposes. Okay, there's no way you're going to get a camel with a burden on his back through the eye of the needle. It's not going to happen. Come on, are you there? So when Jesus said that to them, they all realized what he was talking about. This is like, almost like a barrier. So what, this was the young man's barrier that was keeping him out of spiritual things. He was so connected to who he was and what he had that he, he couldn't let go of one to have the other. And th this happens to be the way it is with God. You see, with, with God, you can't 
play both sides of the fence. Who are you out there? So you can't hold on to one and then get a hold of the other and then, and then play a game. Amen. Hallelujah. So, so Jesus was uh, actually giving this man an answer. Okay? A, a good answer. He just didn't realize it. And uh, it, th then Jesus said, okay, I'm going to let you off the hook. His disciples are so astonished. They said, well, gee, how's anybody going to be saved? You know, immediately the disciples are thinking, well, that's going to make the kingdom small. Because who, who's going to do what he's talking about? And so they said, well, wow. Uh, who then can be saved? So Jesus said, with men it is impossible, but not with God. For with God, all things are possible. Because remember, what the matter really was, was the young man's heart. It wasn't about the money. The money didn't have anything to do with it. The money had him, had his heart, which meant God couldn't have his heart. So, but with God, he, he easily touches people. He touched you. How many of you have been touched by God? So he, he got your heart. How many, how many of you, the Lord has your heart? Okay, well, you've already done it. You've already done it. But see, that barrier was keeping that young man out of this blessing. Now, so Peter, verse 28, uh, Peter began to say, Lo, we have left all and followed you. So last week we were talking about Peter's boat. Okay, remember Peter's boat? Okay, and so Peter, after where we saw he and Jesus interacting, okay, and Jesus filled the boat, after that, Peter walked away. It wasn't just the livelihood that he walked away from, it was his family, his friends. And left everything to follow Jesus. Now, before that, there was also another young man, he actually was, uh, Isaac. And you remember, God told him in the famine, don't go down to Egypt, but stay where you are, which resulted in Isaac taking their food which was seed, the only thing they had, and sowing in the famine. Now, the word says that after he sowed, there was a hundredfold return. So Jesus talked about 30-fold. If that doesn't make it, then we'll go 60. If that's not enough, then let's go 100. 100 fold return. Praise the Lord. Are you there? So the rich young ruler walked away having great riches. But let me tell you something about Peter. Okay. Peter walked away from the fishing boat and walked away from his known livelihood. But here's what he got. He got the promise. Okay. And so here's the promise. Verse 29, Jesus answered and said unto them, Verily I say unto you, there is no man that has left house, brethren, sisters, father, mother, or wife, or children, or lands for my sake and the gospels. Now that is what Peter did. He walked away from it all. Okay, and the rich young ruler, that's what he would have walked away from. You know, we, we make a big deal out of the money, but there was a lot more to it than just the money. It was his name, it was his inheritance, it was his forebears, it was his heirs. It was a family tree. It was going to walk away from it all and leave it all behind. Okay? Verse 30, uh, Jesus said, but he shall receive. See, this is the promise part. So it's not just, you know, he's going to take something. He's actually, he's going to return more than you could imagine. 
So this is what he said, he shall receive a hundredfold now in this time, houses, brethren, sisters, mothers, children, and lands with persecutions, and in the world to come eternal life. Now that's what the young man said he wanted. He wanted eternal life and he was going to get more back. But he walked away. He didn't even stick around long enough to hear the promise. This is what happens to many people. You know, you start talking about money and the, oh, oh, they just want your money down there at that church. You know, the people at, at your job standing right next to you, that's, you, you hear it all the time. Come on now. Okay, they didn't stick around long enough for the promise. Because what happened with Peter, now, by the way, Peter is not dead. <laughs> Peter is alive today. In heaven. Okay, so for the record, Peter went from a lowly fisherman that no, no one but his family and, and the people in town knew who he was. He went from that to today. So Peter is probably one of the most well-known personalities that has ever been on this planet. Virtually everybody knows who Peter is. Even if they're just, you know, spouting out things like the pearly gates, Pete, you know, St. Peter and the pearly gates. Hey, they're still talking about him. Are you there? So there you go with Peter's hundredfold return. But not to mention, Peter was known in his earthly life by his peers, like the Apostle Paul who wrote, you know, Peter is always leading around his family. Yeah. Meaning that in Peter's ministry, he had enough money to bring his whole entourage around with him everywhere he went. You know, all the hotel bills, come on now. All the, the food. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So it, you know, obviously the, the point being is that what Jesus said is what Peter received. Rich young ruler walked away from it because it involved sowing. See, it involved his heart. Hallelujah. You know, with, with Peter and, and all of his disciples, because they were resigned to follow, the stuff meant absolutely nothing to them. It didn't matter. And here, so here's what happens to a person's heart. This is what would have happened to the rich young ruler. What happens to a person's heart is they get in fellowship with God and they don't care about the money. So you're not living for money. That's, that's the intention is to get us loose from the control of money. Because if you look at it like this, is, as long as money still matters, then that means Satan, all he's got to do is pull a little chain, pull away, a little, and all of a sudden, there you are back, fearful, concerned, worried. Come on now. Sounds like control to me. So God's intention, see all of this that we're preaching about, his intention is to get us to the place where Satan cannot manipulate us Amen. with not enough. Which is, I mean, if, if you look at what's happening in the world today, you know, the thing that everybody complains about is how corrupt everything is. You know what that's based on? Fear. It's all about fear. Not having enough, somebody getting ahead of you, somebody having it, having it instead of you having it. It's all about fear. So what Jesus is talking about is being delivered from fear. See, if God is your source, the money could come or go. It makes no difference. You're not going to do without. Because God takes care of you. When Peter walked away from that boat, that was the end of the conversation about money with Peter. He never again had to deal with money. A moot point. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It made no difference. He had enough. God took care of him. You know, it's, it's like Jesus. People say, well, Jesus didn't wear a Rolex. Wait a minute, wait a minute. He did for his day. That garment that they didn't want to split up. That garment that he was wearing, he was wearing the Rolex when he went to the cross. Oh, go ahead and say, well, Jesus was not driving a BMW. Yeah, but you know, he had the, the donkey with the, the donkey's child just in case there was more stuff that needed to go, you know, it was maybe a station wagon, an SUV. Are, are you with this? So Jesus had a treasurer. If Jesus didn't have any money, why did he have a treasurer who kept the bag? No, Jesus lacked nothing. It's just that he didn't have to carry the bank around with him to have his needs met. They had a problem with taxes, go fishing. How many of you are with this? It's just like the nation of Israel in the wilderness. Every day they woke up and there was the food they needed for that day on the ground ready for them. Every day for 40 years. Every day. You know when the manna stopped? When they entered into the promised land, when they crossed over the Jordan River, that was the day and it was time to the day. That was the day the manna stopped because now they were in the promised land. So glad that you've been with us today. Uh, defeating the curse in our lives is an act of faith. We have to hear the promise, believe it, act on it, and then use our faith to overcome what the enemy will continue to try to do. So that, that this is important to realize is the promises of God are there, but we have to enforce them in our lives. Right, and you can have two masters. You know, you really, really have to trust yeah. The Lord, you yeah. know, I know there have been times in our life when things started going in the wrong direction. Yeah. And, and so instead of just thinking that it was a coincidence right. or that some, you know, this, this just a bad situation, we went into our prayer closet to find out why, because we had become so used to the grace of God flowing in our lives, provision being there, uh, healing being there, living in divine health, all those things, that when something happened that was out of the ordinary, that wasn't good, you know, because every good and perfect gift comes down from God. No, He doesn't send bad things or bad uh, circumstances. We said we must have stepped outside yeah. of the grace in well, some the, way. The book of Proverbs actually says that the curse shall not causeless come. Right. Yeah. So we hope that you really uh, gained some insight through this message today. But you know what? It's here. Camp Meeting 2018. Our theme this year is Storm Proof. And we'll be celebrating Jesus, who's our refuge and our stronghold, redeems us from the curse and from the storms of life, and is our refuge in all times of trouble. We've got a great lineup. Starting right now, Darling Bishop, Joseph Garlington, Bill Winston, Sammy Rodriguez, Dr. James Davis, and Jesse Duplantis. We invite you to join us for this powerful time in the presence of God. Hallelujah. Yeah. Now, at, at the same time, you can uh, stay tuned uh, for more information that we'll be putting uh, before you about Camp Meeting and how Faith Landmarks Ministries and Contact are spreading the gospel around the world. Now, we would like to ask you to participate with us as a partner uh, to help to spread the gospel around the world and sow seed into this ministry. Contact and Faith Landmarks Ministries are good ground and you can find all of the info that you need to know about the ministry uh, by visiting our website contact.tv and just follow the links. Uh, there's giving links, there's also a new way that you can give by text literally just from your phone. Uh, details about that are at the bottom of the screen. Uh, so contact uh, goes into all the world with 
with the gospel of Jesus Christ via television and the internet and, and uh, other means, we also have ground operations, uh, what, what we would call a ground, right. ground operation, right. okay, and uh, preaching the gospel through our contact broadcast. So here's a look at some of the things that are coming. Camp Meeting 2018 Stormproof is just around the corner. Get equipped and armored with speakers from across the nation starting October 7th through the 12th at 10.30 a.m. and 7.30 p.m. For more information or to find nearby hotels, visit our website at faithlandmarks.org or call our hotline at 804-515-5860. Hey kids, are you ready to rock out with Kids Town? Join us for an awesome, fun-filled time in fellowship and the Word at Kids Rock Camp Meeting 2018 at Faith Landmarks Ministries. It all begins on Sunday, October 7th with our annual Kids Town County Fair. Children will also have fun every day of the week with Ezekiel, Kyra, and the Donut Man. It all starts October 7th, Sunday through Monday at Faith Landmarks Ministries. Camp Meeting 2018 Stormproof will be a powerful and anointed event. You can relive the messages, equip yourself in the Word, and experience the conference again and again with our special Camp Meeting 2018 product package. Available in CD, DVD, or USB flash drive, you can watch or listen to your favorite messages whenever you want. Order today and choose from a variety of Camp Meeting 2018 products. Our CD package is available for $35, DVD package $50. Our CD-DVD combo package is available for only $75. Stormproof flash drives with all video and audio recordings are available for $50. And don't forget, you can purchase our special Stormproof t-shirt for only $10 while supplies last. Don't miss out on this great value. To order, call 1-866-FAITH-42 or visit our website at faithlandmarks.org. Thank you for joining us today. We believe the word has been sown into your heart and will continue to propel you through a bright future in him. But before we go, we want to invite you again to join us for Camp Meeting 2018 right here at Faith Landmarks. This is going to be a powerful time in the Word, and you don't want to miss a single service. Now, if you can't join us in person, check out our website, and you'll find links to download or stream other broadcasts and services. God bless you, and we'll see you next time on Contact.